Blake, first of all, welcome to Detroit. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, we talked a little bit before coming in here. I know that you were in the city of Detroit, in the downtown area, in fact, back in 2009 when you came in to um, receive the uh, Oscar Robertson Award. Final Four was in town. Detroit was really just starting uh, this renaissance that's ongoing now. Um, but you've not been back. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you've heard about Detroit and what do you, what do you anticipate seeing when you get to the downtown area? Honestly, I've heard nothing but great things um, about this, this renaissance and this uh, renovation. Uh, my mom actually, as I was on the flight yesterday, sent me an article about how Detroit is one of the best places to live in America and the, re the list of reasons why. So I got to read that and, and uh, learn a little bit about Detroit. So I'm excited to, to actually get down there because, you know, every time we played here in the past, you know, we fly in and go straight to uh, the hotel and, and kind of missed downtown Detroit. So I'm excited to get down there and, and see, see everything that's changed. You were definitely a staple in Los Angeles for many years, the face of the Clippers. Um, having said that, how difficult is it to, to face this day, knowing that now that is your former team and you have been traded, so to speak, uh, looking forward to the new opportunity, I'm sure, but how does, it, how does it settle in when you've been the face of a franchise for so long and now no longer? Uh, I wouldn't really call it difficult. To me, it's exciting um, because of this opportunity. That, that to me, is in the past. Um, I enjoyed my time there. I, I, the fan base was great. Um, I have love for every single guy in that locker room over there, but um, it's about Detroit now, and it's about the Pistons now, and, and um, that's what's most exciting to me, you know, just being around the team this morning uh, during practice and just sitting in the locker room talking a little bit with those guys. Um, you know, it's... it's, it's uh, it's great to be here and it's great to, to be a part of this franchise. Well, you've been highly decorated through the first part of your career. Uh, five times an all-star. Uh, you've made numerous all-NBA teams. What has been your proudest moment in the NBA thus far? Um, you know, we've had, we've had some, some great moments uh, in the past, but year after year, I think, you know, you, you, you take time to reflect on the years past and, and things you need to work on. I'm, I'm just proud of the growth um, as, as a player, you know, we came into the, the Clippers franchise um, at its, one of its lowest points. You know, it's, I was always pretty low and, and um, built a foundation. And, and um, you know, now I, you know, I look to do the exact same thing here, this, this, except for this, this franchise has had success um, and, and in the past. And um, I'm excited to be a part of that um, tradition, um, but also looking to build this foundation that these guys have already started building here, you know, with Andre and Stan. And, and all the guys that have been here. We believe we know who you are as a player. I mean, we've watched, we've appreciated, we've admired, but who's Blake Griffin as a person? Motivation is my, my kids. Um, I have a, a son and a daughter who both, um, you know, are the, the, the light of my life. So um, those two are, are the, my biggest motivation. Um, you know, other than that, I'm big into comedy, love comedy, films, stand up, all that. So um, I'm always kind of watching um, and, and uh, appreciating comedy. Okay, you mentioned it, I didn't. Comedy. Mm -hmm. So tell me a joke. Oh, I don't, I, I don't, I'm not a joke guy. <laughs> I'm not a joke guy. I'm going I'm to uh, appreciate it and I'm going I'm to write it out and I'll, 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 uh, I'm not a knock knock joke guy, nothing like that. <laughs> you mentioned your children. How old are they? Uh, my son's four and my daughter's 17 months. Ah. Yeah. Do they know what daddy, do they, do, are they in tune with what daddy does? Uh, my son definitely does, you know, coming to games. He's been coming to games for a long time, so he knows. I've tried to explain to him what was happening. Um, I don't know if he really grasped it, you know, as a whole. Um, but my daughter, you know, she, she has no clue, and, and I, I kind of like it like that. Mm -hmm. I know you're a big Sooner guy. You love your alma mater. Tell me about some of the things you've been involved with there. I know you endowed a, um, a commitment uh, for, a, for the center there, the Blake Griffin Center. Tell me a little bit about that and, and, and what makes you most proud. Yeah, you know, as, a, as an Oklahoman and, and uh, as a Sooner, uh, I've seen a, a tradition of, of former students and student athletes coming back and, and giving back and making sure that they leave a positive impact on, on the university. And I, I wanted to be the exact same. Um, so whatever I, I've been able to do to help, um, I've always tried to do that. And then most recently, um, been able to, to be a part of, of bringing on this, this brand new training facility um, there, which will you know, bring the facilities at Oklahoma up to speed and with you know, the top programs uh, throughout the rest of the country. So 
um, I'm, I'm very, very proud to be a part of that and, and to continue that tradition of, of former um, athletes and alumni, you know, giving back. Mm -hmm. I heard you mention that uh, if someone were to play uh, Blake Griffin in a movie, it'd be Sinbad. Do you know Sinbad's from Michigan, right? <laughs> I, I didn't Michigan know he was from Michigan. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. Why Sinbad? <laughs> I was just trying to think of somebody <laughs> funny at the time. Um, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't know. I was just trying to think of somebody who kind of could like pull off the look a little bit, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, we know him well in these parts. <laughs> yeah. As a player, um, one of the things I've noticed uh, and, and certainly appreciate it was your, your, your maturation process. When you first came into the league, people came to see Blake Griffin because they wanted to see you dunk. Mm -hmm. In fact, I remember one game, and I believe it was on Martin Luther King Day. Let me see if you remember mm -hmm. this, right here in this building. Yeah. And I think you dunked seven times yeah. on <laughs> us. Uh, we couldn't stop you, but your game has gone beyond that. I mean, obviously you can still climb the ladder, but it's a lot more now. Uh, talk about that process and, and, and how you've come to be more of a, of a complete player, and you mentioned one that makes his teammates better. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's basketball is something that I've always taken very, very seriously. And I, I mentioned before playing for my dad as a coach, um, and he always instilled in me, you know, the the importance of being a versatile player, making your teammates better. And I think you, you make your teammates better by being a well-rounded player and being able to fit in and play with different types of, of players. And um, I've put a lot of work in on. on a shot, um, you know, and being able to be more versatile and be able to score away from the basket and not just, you know, in the paint or on the post. Um, I'm all continually working on, on finding better ways to be a better facilitator, better passer, ball handler, um, all those things. Um, I, my, my, I get the most joy when I'm playing basketball and my teammates are playing well and I'm passing the ball and guys are scoring. Um, so that's a, that's a big point of emphasis for me. You played with DeAndre Jordan, who in many ways is similar to Andre Drummond, your new teammate. But there are differences, as we know, offensively. And Andre has really, really improved his offensive game. Yeah. Maybe not as stout as DeAndre is on the defensive end, a work in progress. But talk about how now you will look forward to working with him, uh, both from a similarities standpoint and a different standpoint. I'm very, very excited about playing with Andre. Uh, I've been a fan of his since he came in the league, just his raw talent alone. Um, and over the years, I've really appreciated how hard he's worked on, on his game. Um, you know, developing left, right hand hook, um, his free throw shooting this year, um, his, his half court shots, you know, that he, he likes to shoot. Um, yeah, I, uh, I've been a fan of his game and um, to see his maturation of, as a player um, has been has been really really cool and at the same time like you said you know him and DJ are a, a little bit similar um, in, in their style of play but um, so I'm familiar playing with a, a, that type of player I think Andre's great around the rim he's got great hands great um, speed strength obviously so I think there's definitely things that I've seen here and there that, that I can you know hopefully help him with and then um, he'll help me um, you know playing with a guy of that caliber You'll obviously be wearing a star here, you know that. People will come to see you play, but the expectations will be there with it as they're expecting you to help turn this franchise around and probably in short order. Are you okay with that? Absolutely, I, it's not something that I ever shy away from. I, I, I love um, challenges, but at the same time, it's not something that, that I think about, you know, in, in terms of, of letting it affect me. Um, I appreciate um, the, the support and I appreciate um, you know, all the fans that, that this fan base, um, you know, has. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's not about me. It's about our team and it's about uh, all these guys um, moving towards the same goal. And when we get everybody on the same page, we're going to be tough to stop. Now, you have uh, the Clippers coming in in a few days. Mm -hmm. What's that going to be like? Uh, it'll be fun. You know, I, I, uh, when, when, I, when I got traded, I text those guys, you know, I love you guys. Um, you know, keep working hard, all that stuff. But I said, uh, I'm, I'm definitely going to foul some of you pretty hard. <laughs> um, so no, I'm, 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 I'm really, I'm looking forward to. It. I mean, just looking forward to being on the court in general for the Pistons and, and um, starting out this this new journey. Um, Stan Van Gundy, who's had success in this league, he, he's a, he has a proven track record, um, but he's still trying to bring that same level of success here to the Pistons. Mm -hmm. Uh, tell us what you know about him, his style of coaching, and how you hope to get better as a player 
understands tutelage. Yeah, I mean, I've been, uh, been, uh, I've seen Stan's teams from afar, and obviously played against him, and um, scouted his teams and, and things like that. So. Um, I, I have heard, and also over the past couple of days, you know, taking a lot of phone calls from other coaches, you know, coaches that I know, talking about how great Stan is, and, and um, really singing his praises. So that's always very, very comforting, knowing you know what kind of what kind of guy you're getting. Um, and, and you know, I had a chance to sit with him today and just talk basketball. Um, and and he's a very, very smart, smart coach. Um, really knows X's and O's, and, and really knows thinks the game. I think in the same way. So I'm excited about that opportunity. I think he's going to put us in a position to, to really uh, be successful. If you were to speak to the fans of Detroit, both those who are familiar and those who are not as familiar with you, what would you say on this day, your first, your first official day in town? Uh, just my excitement. I, I, I plan on coming in, and, and we're going to be a, a team that plays very, very hard. Um, I think Stan demands that from his guys, and all these guys that are still here have, have shown that. You know, they've played very, very hard, and, and I want to come in and be the exact same way. Um, we're we're going we're gonna to have to grind out some games. Um, but the thing I love about this town is they embrace that. You know, some, some cities, um, some fan bases they want to see the flashy, like, up and down. Um, but a, a city that embraces, you know, that grinded out hard work mentality, um, those are the type of cities that, that um, I, I really like and I really align with.